Hello my friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today it's going to be a very exciting day because I'm going on a little day trip to Florence. So I have a bit um, of things planned already. So I'm gonna go to uh, a museum. I also plan to do a bit of shopping. So I need to return an item I bought at Massimo Dutti. I also want to visit a few other shops like Louis Vuitton and then some like leather shops. Not that much on the schedule because I do want to uh, wander around a little bit and just like enjoy the city. So I've got some coffee here and a small bite. I'm gonna finish that because I still have some time before um, I have to get to the train station. I will see you in a bit. So stick along to see Florence with me.
it in the museum. I had it to the Massimo Dutti store. Here is my outfit for the day. I am wearing a linen button-down shirt, which has a little bit of a lived-in wrinkle. Paired with this gorgeous stone necklace I picked up at the handmade market in Pisa. I've styled it with some straight leg denim and my low Gabrielle boots from Cezanne and also my curved bag from Arquette. While in the store I browsed a few things and wanted to try them on. First, I found this leopard print belt with silver hardware. I've been looking for a good belt in silver tones as I mostly wear silver or uh, white gold, but it's been so hard to find. Unfortunately, they only had it in a medium size, which doesn't work with most of my pants, so I will be on the lookout for a larger size. Let me know in the comments if you've seen a nice leopard print belt with silver hardware, please. One tip I want to share. Never ever skip the men's section when shopping. I found this fantastic suede blazer there. I loved the quality and the relaxed fit, but they only had it in extra large, which was too big on me. I also tried on a leather jacket from the men's section as well in this beautiful deep brown tones that suits my color palette very well. While I loved the color, I wasn't a fan of the fit, especially with that button detail at the neckline. Next, I tried on this beautiful cropped khaki jacket, also made of suede leather from the women's section. I really loved the color and also the fit on myself, although I know that my outfit wasn't the best um, to combine with the jacket. However, it was around 250 euros and although I loved the jacket, I didn't want to splurge it and just look for another option on the second-hand market. I also tried on a wool jacket in this deep cool brown that I've spotted on a previous visit. While I loved the color, the fit was a bit looser than I'd like it to be. And my linen shirt, again, wasn't the best choice for trying it on. Then I spotted this cool toned red sweater. This shade is in my palette, but finding a cool red rarer than the typical warm shades can be challenging. So, especially since bright red is so trendy right now. The color was perfect, but look at how long the sweater is. This was a medium size, which is my usual size, and while I don't mind an oversized fit, it was just far too long for my frame. I feel like this would work better for someone with a taller, longer torso. I have to say though that the leopard print belt I tried earlier matched so well with this red tone. In the end, I left the store empty-handed, but it was fun to explore and try on a few new pieces.